As the day for the commencement of litigation against the Ocampo 6 draws closer, the debate over how to go about the prosecution intensifies. Should taxpayers fork out 4.6 billion shillings to pay for the defense of Ocampo 6 main suspects? Lilian Omondi, an advocate practicing law within the city, says those mentioned as bearing the greatest responsibility should carry their own cross. Omondi says the government cannot use taxpayers' money to pay for individual acts or omissions committed that are illegal. So if the government of Kenya goes ahead by doing that, it will be a statement to the entire world that the government of Kenya then was fully aware and set its own mechanism, mechanisms against its own citizens. And I think it can have some serious repercussions from the people. Kibe Mungai, on the other hand, says the suspects are deemed innocent until proven guilty by the court and should be accorded government intervention in any way if only they can prove they acted in good faith and on behalf of the government. For example, a policeman can say, there are circumstances in which I am entitled to shoot, to use my gun. So since the law requires me to use some gun at certain instances, and I am using the gun on behalf of the Kenyan state, then the use of that firearm cannot be a criminal offense. That's what you'll be. Kibe bases his argument on the Civil Servants Code of Conduct Regulation G36 on legal proceedings arising against an officer when discharging public duties. He says the law allows officers to apply to the permanent secretary or head of department to assist in his or her defense. Omondi says this will be a first as no legal precedent exists on the same. You can, you can amend a law. They can amend a law. We've seen it done. You saw a motion being passed, withdrawal from the Rome, Rome Statute. Parliament is very powerful. The Code of Conduct says if the authority is satisfied that the officer acted in good faith in execution of his official duties and that it is in public interest that the officer should be defended, he will report immediately to the AG who will decide whether or not the officer should be defended and if satisfied, his defense is arranged. Because at what point are you going to distinguish eh, between one crime eh, and say this one is tried in Nairobi? And another one is tried in the Hague, we shall not assist you. On the other hand, Omondi maintains this will be splitting the public under direct admission by the government of culpability. The question remains what happens if the suspects are found guilty? What happens if they remain innocent after the prosecution? And how will this be received by those who bore the brunt of the post election violence? The verdict will be in the court of public opinion. Reporting for K24 News, this is Ken Mijungu.